Hey everybody, John here from No Joke NHL on Saturday, uh, April 14th, uh, the fourth day of the playoffs, and uh, another outstanding night of hockey last night. Um, New Jersey and Florida finally get started and, uh, you know, get underway. Uh, our two plays, uh, well, four plays on two different sides. Um, we went one and three, uh, which isn't the way we really wanted to do it. Uh, New Jersey, horrible bad beat. Uh, as far as the puck line is concerned, uh, New Jersey, totally dominant beginning of the game. Take it to Jose Theodore, put three quick goals in the net, only to, um, you know, cough up two later on and then keep the game, you know, that way. Couldn't find an empty netter to get that puck line cover, so that really bad beat in that sense. Uh, our other selection, Nashville, um, it involved early, putting a lot of pressure on Howard, as, as I predicted they would, but Howard stood his ground. Um, and uh, it was actually the Red Wings that were able to get uh, a couple goals on the board. Nashville puts one in, make it interesting, and within a minute uh, later, uh, the Wings put one, put them up 3-1, which uh, was their final margin. Nashville was able to put, uh, Shea Weber was able to put one in late uh, to make it interesting, see if they could force it to overtime, but uh, the, the puck line play there, uh, minus one and a half, was uh, ne ne never never to be had, and uh, you know, like I said, we had a slight chance with the money line with the late comeback by Nashville. So uh, that series is tied one one. New Jersey did hold on three two to go up one nothing in their series. Um, Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, I really don't know what you're doing, but uh, you know, <laughs> they 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 act like they're playing in overtime. They act like the first score is the only score important. Uh, again, race out to a. You know, big lead uh, on Philadelphia, only to have Philadelphia storm back, and storm back they did, eight to five. So no defense in this series, no goaltending whatsoever in this series. So I'm not sure what to make of this uh, either way. Uh, you know, Pittsburgh, you're obviously uh, extremely unhappy. You lost two on your home ice, um, but Philadelphia, you, you know, you can't be too ecstatic. At, although you're outscoring them, but I mean, Briskalov has given up now nine goals in two games. Or, I'm sorry, eight, eight, eight goals in two games, uh, you know, which means he's not quite as bad as Marc-Andre Fleury, who has given up uh, 12 goals in two games. So um, so defense out the window here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely starting to change my tune. Uh, Todd Fuhrman, uh, uh, one, of the, one of the managers in the sports book at Caesars Las Vegas, uh, tweeted last night saying that, you know, I, I don't know how people can consider Pittsburgh a championship caliber team uh, with this lack of defense, and frankly, I have to agree with them. Um, the other game last night, uh, Los Angeles Kings took it to uh, the Vancouver Canucks for the second time, um, and, and, and this was no surprise, uh, really. I mean, L.A. was dominant in all facts of the game, getting to loose pucks, uh, putting the pressure on. I mean, and, and this isn't really Luongo's fault. This is really a uh, hustle on the Vancouver Canucks part and also lack of defense. Uh, Luongo is not, uh, you know, he, he's, he's not letting in real cheapies here. Uh, it's just too much pressure uh, to hold the puck out of the net. So um, so for you Kings backers, uh, at, at, at a big price, especially to, you know, get out of this and possibly take the West, uh, congrats to you. Uh, I, I, I end up buying a... Uh, a, a, a ticket last night on Vancouver to win the series at uh, plus 105. Um, and while I did not, you know, that technically that ticket is still live, um, certainly didn't go the way I thought it was last night. I thought that we would come out of Vancouver at least 1 1. So definitely keeping an eye on that. I also added another play um, on uh, Philadelphia and uh, Pittsburgh to go under six, uh, a line of six on the total, almost unheard of in the playoffs. Um, and so I, so I took a, a play on under six only to uh, have them exceed that by seven goals. So they doubled up on me. So uh, obviously not a good play last night. However, a definitely formful play. And uh, just a little word about totals here. Um, the over has now gone uh, <clears throat> out of um, 11 total games played. The over has won five times. Uh, the under has come in just one time, and we have five pushes. Most of these games are totaled at five, uh, with the exception of um, well, Boston and Capitals in the first game was five and a half, as well as Flyers-Pittsburgh, and then last night, of course, Flyers-Pittsburgh uh, lined at six. But uh, you know, some key information there. This is really how it holds up. 
Uh, most times if you are playing with a total of five, uh, it is going to go over uh, and or push, land right on the five rather than win. So if you're playing unders in this playoff at under five, uh, you're, 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 you're digging your own grave. Uh, you know, statistically, you know, like I said, my research over the past couple years, uh, even Stanley Cup playoffs for the last seven years, um, the under comes in or, or games where, you know, it comes under five uh, is, is only like 30% of the time. So you have a 30% chance of winning. You can tack on about a 25% chance uh, of pushing the five. And then uh, about, about half of that, you know, 45 to 50% of the games go over. So over clearly is the play. Um, and if you notice, too, they're lining a lot of the games at five with heavy juice to the over. Uh, so the books really are, uh, are really are the winners here on totals. So uh, really, really, really sharpen your opinions on totals, and uh, you, you know just just buy or beware because totals are very hard, especially in these uh, Stanley Cup playoffs. So for today uh, we have Capitals Boston uh, in the matinee, and uh, I'm going to stay with my Capitals play. I have them for the series at plus 180. Currently, after the first game lost, they're now plus 330. So I'm going to buy back a little at uh, plus 330. I'm going to take a half a unit on that. And I'm going to play them at plus 165 today uh, today as well. I mean, that, there's nothing that I saw the other night that indicated that Boston should be an even more dominant um, you know, favorite today or that, you know, that now all of a sudden they're 4-1 to one to win this series after that type of game that they won the other night. Um, I mean, if Capitals come out and and and, and play play a stinker, then I'm going to look to try to get back, uh, you know, some some of my money later on in the series, or, or not. I mean, I'm not going to chase chase the loss. That's the way I handicap it or whatever. Um, as far as tonight, I'm going to lay off the other games. Um, I contemplated playing the Blackhawks, but I'm just going to sit and watch that one as well. Um, I, we had them the other night, and they they uh, you know went to overtime but couldn't pull it off. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm just going to play the Capitals in this matinee, and then I'm just going to watch later on. If you have any questions about uh, the games later on tonight or the Capitals game, uh, please feel free to ask me. No Joke NHL on Twitter. Uh, go to DaveToolysViewFromVegas.com, post in the forums. Uh, I, I usually uh, post my plays in there as well. And uh, let's have some fun. This hockey is, you know, like I said, NHL Stanley Cup playoffs, the, the greatest sporting event in all of sports. And uh, it certainly is holding itself up um, as advertised so far. So hope you're having fun. I know I am. And uh, let's get in the win column here. Had, had a few t tough couple days, but uh, you know we have a long way to go. It's still only April here, and we have <laughs> until at least the first week of June before the finals are over. So uh, plenty of time to you know to to get on board and to and to make some money. And um, that's what we're gonna do. All right. So have fun and peace.